Welcome to the journey of well-being, where we dive together into the secrets of nature. We uncover how a single bay leaf has held knowledge and healing in its heart for thousands of years. A small, green, delicate leaf, often overlooked, yet within it lies a long history. Behind it, science, medicine, and an aroma, carrying secrets deeper than the mind can imagine. This is not just any bay leaf. It is a complete chemical factory, a repository of ancient medicine, and a gateway to a world of active compounds. These compounds are unseen, yet astonishingly intelligent in their action. In this episode, we explore bay leaves, follow the journey of their essential oils, and reveal how Avicenna understood them a thousand years ago. Modern science has confirmed his wisdom. Bay Laurel also known as Laurus nobilis, is a slow-growing Mediterranean tree. It takes years for its leaves to reach full potency. It has long symbolized glory and victory. The wreaths placed on heroes' heads were made of bay leaves. Behind this symbolism, the leaves have a complex internal structure. Tiny glands store volatile oils, and tissues are rich in flavonoids and phenols. These substances protect the tree from bacteria, insects, and fungi. When we approach a bay leaf, as if under a powerful microscope, we find it is not just plant tissue, but a true laboratory producing medicinal compounds. Inside the oil glands, volatile oils accumulate, while outside, non-volatile compounds spread. Key volatile oils include cineol, limonene, linalool, tabinine, alpha-pinene, beta-pinene, methyl eugenol, and myrcene. Non-volatile compounds are the real treasure of bay leaves. They include quercetin, chemferol, rutan, caffic acid, chlororogenic acid, ferulic acid, tannins, and saponins. A bay leaf represents a complete medicinal system, combining rapid effects of volatile compounds with the deep action of non-volatile compounds. When these compounds enter the body, through inhalation, contact, or skin absorption, a complex series of biochemical reactions begins. Tineol opens the airways and reduces inflammation. Limon improves mood and enhances liver detoxification. Linalool acts as a natural sedative and anti-anxiety agent. Sabinine is antibacterial and reduces joint inflammation. Alpha-pinene and beta-pinene open the bronchi, improving memory and focus. Myrcene relaxes muscles and relieves spasms. The non-volatile compounds penetrate deeply, strengthening nerves and blood vessels, while improving circulation. Before diving deeper into the bay leaf, we must understand the secrets of extraction. Each extraction method yields different compounds, depending on solubility, temperature, and light sensitivity. Using olive or almond oil produces fat-soluble compounds like methyl eugenol, eugenol, linolu, methyl shavacol, and alpha-terpenol acetate, along with fixed fatty acids such as oleic acid and linoleic acid. This extraction yields a soothing, anti-inflammatory, muscle-relaxing, skin-cleansing extract 95% ethyl alcohol extracts strong phenols, like caffeic acid, chlorogenic acid, quercetin, and rutin, along with some volatile oils and non-volatile antioxidants. This extract is one of the strongest natural antioxidants, regulating the immune system, combating microbes, aiding liver detoxification, and reducing joint inflammation. 
Steam distillation produces essential oil only, composed of cineol, limonene, sabinine, linalool, alpha pinin, and beta pinane. This oil expands airways, relieves congestion, cleanses the respiratory system, energizes the body, and elevates mood. Supercritical carbon dioxide extraction obtains a complete blend, including volatile oils, phenols, plant waxes, fixed fats, and terpenoids. Unique compounds appear such as costinolide, lactone, sterols, and notably beta cetosterol This extract is the most potent therapeutically, highly antioxidant, antimicrobial, and strengthening for joints and overall health. The bay leaf is not merely a fragrance. It is a living chemical system, combining art and science, history and medicine, showing how nature hid secrets in a green leaf. One of the most powerful home remedies is bay leaf ointment, carefully prepared for joint pain, paralysis, or hemiplegia. The leaves contain anti-inflammatory compounds, nerve stimulants, and blood circulation enhancers. Alcohol-based extract, one kilogram of dried leaves, cut into medium pieces, placed in a dark glass jar, covered with 95% ethyl alcohol, the jar is tightly closed and gently shaken every two days. Extraction continues for three weeks. Alcohol draws out potent phenols, anti-inflammatory compounds, and nerve-supporting substances. Oil-based extract, one kilogram of dried leaves, covered with extra virgin olive oil in a new jar. Placed in a warm water bath for 30 minutes, without direct heat then tightly closed. This extract draws fat-soluble compounds, natural sedatives, and anti-inflammatory agents. The jar is shaken every two days, left for three weeks. After three weeks, the alcohol and oil of extracts are combined, producing a golden green mixture containing a wide spectrum of active compounds. The jar is covered with fine medical gauze, and placed under direct sunlight for one week. Compounds react with light and heat, forming a thick, creamy layer. The bay leaf ointment. This layer is collected with a wooden spoon, placed in a small dark glass bottle, and a few drops of vitamin E are added for preservation. The result is a pure natural ointment, relieving joint pain, soothing nerves, aiding hemiplegia, and promoting healing. Bay leaf ointment balances chemistry and sunlight, combining nature's wisdom into a healing substance born from a green leaf. To make natural liquid soap for bathing, the cold process method is used. One kilogram of pure bay leaf oil is selected, and 100 grams of olive oil are added. The alkaline solution is prepared with a 205 grams and 8 tenths of potassium hydroxide dissolved in 330 grams of cold distilled water. These proportions are carefully calculated to ensure an ideal reaction with about 5% extra fat for gentle balanced soap suitable for skin. Potassium hydroxide is gradually dissolved in cold water inside a reinforced glass or plastic container with continuous stirring 
then it is left to cool to 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, oils are mixed in another container and slightly warmed if viscous. So their temperature matches that of the alkali solution. The alkali solution is added slowly to the oils with constant stirring, then briefly whipped with a hand blender until reaching trace, a thick, creamy, uniform consistency. The container is covered and left in a warm place away from sunlight for 7 to 14 days. This allows natural cold fermentation to occur. When the pH reaches between 9 and 10.5, the soap has chemically matured. It is then diluted with distilled water, about 1 to 1, left for 24 to 48 hours. The mixture transforms into a clear uniform liquid, which is then filtered to produce natural liquid bay leaf soap. The soap is creamy, with gentle foam, a soft herbal fragrance, perfect for daily use on skin and hair. Solid soap is prepared similarly, but using sodium hydroxide instead of potassium hydroxide. 900 grams of bay leaf oil, 100 grams of coconut or olive oil, and 160 to 165 grams of sodium hydroxide with 330 grams of cold water, plus 10 grams of table salt to increase hardness. Sodium hydroxide is gradually dissolved in cold water. Salt is added, and the solution is allowed to cool. Oils are mixed in another container. Then the alkali solution is added slowly with stirring. Mixture becomes thick and uniform then poured into wooden or silicone molds and left to dry for 24 to 48 hours. The soap is cut into equal pieces, placed on wooden racks in a well-ventilated area, away from sunlight, and left for one month to dry completely. The result is 100% natural soap, rich in foam, antibacterial and antifungal, gentle on the skin and long-lasting. A third more traditional method uses oak ash to extract natural alkaline solution. Potassium hydroxide solution is made from white oak ash. Two to two and a half kilograms of clean ash are used, mixed with five liters of distilled water, 20 to 30 grams of natural honey, and 100 to 120 grams of lime. Ash is placed in a large glass container. Water is gradually added while stirring with honey. The mixture is stirred for 10 minutes then left to settle for 24 hours. Heavy ash settles at the bottom, while a light alkaline liquid floats above, containing potassium carbonate. The liquid is filtered through cotton gauze, then lime is gradually added while stirring. Natural calcium precipitates form, and the solution is filtered again to obtain pure potassium hydroxide solution. The solution is boiled until half the volume evaporates. Ready for soap making? One kilogram of bay leaf oil is mixed with 100 grams of olive oil. Then the potassium hydroxide solution is gradually added with continuous stirring until a uniform creamy mixture forms. The container is covered and left in a warm place for seven to 14 days, then diluted with distilled water to produce fully natural liquid soap. Safety is essential when handling alkaline solutions. Wear gloves and protective goggles. Avoid metal containers such as iron or aluminum. Keep solutions away from children. After two weeks, the soap is ready for use. With gentle foam, herbal fragrance, and a natural creamy color, this is bay leaf liquid soap made from wood ash. Pure earth in its finest form. Thus, Oak ash and bay leaf oil transform into soap telling nature's story at its purest. It blends science and heritage, ancient chemistry and human wisdom. Each bubble of foam carries the scent of mountains, sun warmth, and intelligence of plant cells. That gave us this treasure. And so ends our journey with bay leaves, a small secret of nature, holding the power of healing. This was the journey of well-being. 
Stay well and in harmony with nature.